Okay guys, I'm out with Nick Rank of Classic Homes today and we are talking all things new homes, new builds. We are in the basement of one of his homes that's like not yet done. The owner's gonna be moving in in about 30, 45 days. Yes. So there's still a ton of work going on, but talk to us about this basement. Like people can come in and like pick their own selections, make it whatever size they want. Like this customer actually came in and customized the bar themselves. Um, as you can see with the lights and the custom shelves, they kind of designed it themselves. That's how it works with classic homes. You design, we build what you want. I love that about you because sometimes, you know, when other situations, you know, people don't get to like make a ton of choices throughout the process, but it's kind of like you're building their dream home. At the end of the day, they live here. I don't live here. I build the house and then I walk away, but it's the people that get excited for the house. That's the reason that I build houses is to see the excitement of these people when they finally get to move in. So if someone wants to build a home with you, like what does that look like? Do we meet with them? Like how does... How do you like working with a client up front? It's a build process. I mean, it's just me as Classic Homes, so we do a lot of interaction, a lot of communication. With you? With me. Yeah. Just me. But it's the plan is the key part in Classic Homes is what is your plan? We have to have a plan set in motion to uh, to work with this. So. What are you most looking forward to about building in 2022, 2023? What are you looking forward to with Classic Homes? Again, it's just the customers, the clients you get that are excited to build. I do not don't want to just throw up a bunch of houses. I want to actually get involved with the client because they're happy they're excited and that's the whole goal of me building houses is that everybody can move into the, what they want as a house not what I want as their house and that's like one of the fun things with you is you've got these really great plans but yet everyone looks so different because it's like they get to come in and customize it in a way that meets their style their vibe and their family's needs I don't want a cookie cutter house I try to every one of my houses are different from day one that's the whole point of it I don't want you to be able to see that a classic home every every house you want to be able to see something different from every one of my houses size wise what like what's the size range of what you're building right now in like from your smallest to largest right now my smallest is probably around uh, 2,000 the biggest are up to about 3,500 currently that's awesome so you truly have something for everyone Yes, I do. Awesome. Nick does an eight by 12 double slider really well. How did that come about and how are you kind of bringing that into all your plans? Well, it seems like more nowadays people want the outside to be inside. So with these eight by 12 double sliders, we've also added some a lot of accordion doors. It brings the whole outside in with a nice screen and porch. We're actually looking to expand those from 12 foot to 16 foot sliders. Just again, you take up a lot of wall space and it brings a lot of natural light. And that's what people seem to want is the, like I said, the, the outside to be inside. And it's amazing. It's magical. If you haven't seen it, come to our one of Classics Homes. It's this great like double slider in the great room that opens it up and you've got like a ton of extra space bringing that outside in. It makes the floor plans feel super open and airy, but that's kind of like one of your like little special features that you have in a lot of your different plans. That and tall ceilings. Tall ceilings, I try to keep the ceiling as tall as possible. Yeah. Because it just, it just feels like the room is so much bigger. Okay, when you so have these tall main level, you want main eight levels, foot doors, between, right? yeah, eight foot doors, eight foot doors on all my main levels. Yeah. Um, interior doors, and then you try to get between twelve and thirteen minimum on the yeah. ceiling heights. So another thing about you that I love is you have that your eight by twelve sliders, and then like you've been doing a lot of like floor to ceiling stone. Other people have been having that as like an option but you're like no here's my standard i didn't want to be the the builder that keeps adding on you walk into my house and this is what you get you get the full package if you want to deduct you can but most of the time people walk in and it's one price i try not to do the add-ons i try to incorporate it all for the customer what are you seeing most of your clients do like with their homes kind of like a build trend what do you see in a lot of people do i mean everybody's doing something different people are actually messing with the front of the houses so they get different entries when you walk in the whether it be exterior rock. elevations yes. right so there's a lot of different ways to customize whether it's stone stucco bat you know we're even seeing some like modern things or with just different you know components that they're adding to that yes and that's the modern roofs are, are coming back i mean those are, are not coming back but those are the things that are that are out there right now that you try to make a modern roof so 